Hi, so now we're going to continue on by actually working on a fuller example and something that's a little more complicated and something that has um, some common student mistakes that happen. Um, so we're going to start at the very beginning. We're going to look at something a lot more complicated. So example 2.2. Uh, so example 2.2, what we're doing is what happens if we flip a coin multiple times? So in this case, we're going to flip the coin three times, in fact. So we're going to take a coin and we flip it three times. And so the first question we're going to ask is what is our sample space? Like, how do we show the sample space? Uh, so if you think about it, I have three coins, right? And um, each one is either going to be heads or tails. So I need to somehow um, write down and not only that each one is heads or tails, but also the order of them happening because the first one is different than the third one. Um, and so that's, I'm basically going to make ordered lists. So here um, I can have them all be heads. Um, I can have the last one be tails. I can have the second one be tails. Uh, I can have the first one be tails. Also, I can have the last two be tails. I can have the first two be tails. I can have the first and last one be tails. And then I can have them all be tails. And that should be all the different options. So in this case, we have omega is equal to this whole set. Um, and so something that we'll want to know later on is if you notice here, we have eight elements. So we'll mark down that the size of omega, I'll do this below so that we can see it later. The size of omega is equal to eight. Um, okay, cool. Um, so notice how each of these, um, there's three different values. And basically this is keeping track of which coin did that value. So the first coin is heads, second coin is tails, third coin is tails in this example that I just did one, two, three. Um, and basically what this means is that the order matters in this case. So the order matters when we're talking about uh, some of these things, right? Um, oh, I already have written down that these size is eight. Anyway, so yeah, so HHT and THH is not the same thing. In the first one, so like uh, if we're looking at these two, uh, HHT and THH, these two are not the same, right? In the first one, we're saying that the last coin, the one on the right-hand side is the tails, and the other one is the one on the left hand side is the tails. And so these are two totally different events or um, outcomes. So let's look at some events in the space. Um, we, so here I'm also going to talk a little about, about language because we talked about language before. And one of it is um, what happens if I make a mistake and I ask the following question. Um, I'm human, so there's a good chance that I will make mistakes too. Um, and say I ask you for the um, event uh, flips heads twice. Um, now this is ambiguous, right? Uh, and the reason why it's ambiguous is because I'm not actually telling you whether I want um, exactly two heads or at least two heads. Um, so I'm asking, do we get exactly two times or are we asking at least two times, right? We don't actually know. Flipping heads twice could mean everything else is tails, or it could mean there's just two heads in our set. Like it doesn't matter. So in this case, we have to have to have to remember that every word is important in probability. Um, and so there's there's a good chance that I myself will um, screw things up. Um, so if you ever do notice that something's a little ambiguous, make sure to come talk with me. Um, there's a good chance that it's just me screwing up. Um, so yeah, double check. And if it's, even if it's not me screwing up, I can try to help figure out where the confusion is so that in future terms, there's no confusion in that. Like this should be fairly straightforward. Um, so let's look at our, um, events and kind of see where they go into. So the first example we'll look at is flip heads exactly twice. Um, so this should be easy at this point. Uh, flip heads exactly twice. We're going to look at all of our sets from before and we're going to look at which ones flip ex heads exactly twice. Well, you'll notice it's just these three on that I have underlined in the beginning, right? They have exactly two heads. Um, so 
our sample space, our event is just going to be these three elements. So head, tails in the last spot, tails in the second spot, and tails in the first spot. So at this point, we should be pros at doing uh, probabilities. We see a is equal to three, has three elements. Omega is equal to eight. This should have a line here, a ROM. Um, and that's it. So we have three eighths probability. Uh, so the next thing we'll look at is what happens if we flip heads um, at least twice. How does this differ? Um, so what we're really asking here is we want to know flips heads exactly twice or flip heads exactly three times. So, so see here, even in my notes, I screw up exactly, exactly. Um, and so in this case, our event is basically the same as before, right? We need the ones where we have one, two heads and one tail. And since it's an or, we're going to union this with flipping exactly one time or flipping uh, heads all three of the times. So remember with union, all we actually have to do is just do that. And there we go. That's our set. <laughs> A, <laughs> we just delete and we're done. Nice and easy. Um, so what's our probability in this case? Well, there's one, two, three, four elements. So we have four over eight. So we have one half, half the time we will get this to happen. Um, so another event we might ask is, um, we flip the, the first coin to, uh, turns out to be heads. Um, and here, what we're going to have to think about is like, this is actually fairly easily done from what we have already. Right? So if the first head, first one is tails, um, okay. So, or heads, sorry. First one is heads. So we can have H, 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 tails, H, we can have H, H, tails, and we can have H, tails, tails, right? So these are our options. And we have four eighths, which is one half. But the thing is, sometimes we have to think about the language you're using. We flip heads first. Well, all we're asking in this case, this is equivalent to just saying, flip one coin and heads appears, right? So we can rewrite this as omega equals h tails and a is heads. So in this case, this gives us one half right away. So sometimes you're going to have to look at the language and be like, oh, can I redo this in order to make more logical sense to make my life easier. So you're going to have to think about these things a lot of the time. Um, I know this video is going to run a little long, but I really want to also go over a common student mistake that happens. Uh, so a common student mistake for a problem like this, um, is the per is the following. Uh, so we will highlight this. The following is a common student mistake. Um, Please don't highlight like I do and make it hard to read for yourself, please. Uh, and so what we're going to do is let's think about these flips in a different way. Uh, say I don't. So notice how I said, well, flips exactly two times. In this case, I don't really care about the order, right? So why, why are we caring about the order? Why can't I just keep track of my outcome space to be the set of different sets? So in other words, I'm asking. Why can't I just make um, Omega here just be something like this? So I can either have three heads, I can have one tails, I can have two tails, or I can have three tails. And notice here, I'm drawing these as sets. So this is unordered lists, which means the order doesn't matter. Um, and so here, if you think about it, we have four potential outcomes instead of eight. So let's see what happens with our previous things um, when we look at it from this perspective. So flips heads at least twice. Um, so our new event is going to be given by, well, at least twice. So we have H, 
H, H, right? So this is three heads and heads, heads, tails. That's at least twice. So in this case, we have two over four, right? So we have four, four omega. In this case, we have the size of A is equal to two. So two fourths, which is one half. And if you remember, this is the same as before. Let's go back. So here we have the same as before. Okay, so if that one didn't change, well, what happens with the other one? Flip heads exactly twice. Well, flip heads exactly twice. This is also easy. H, H, T. We only have one element. So here we would say one fourth. Well, one fourth is definitely not the same as three eighths. So which is correct? Is it three eighths or is it one fourth? And so the problem is it's actually the three eighths and the one fourth is just wrong. Um, and the reason why is because in this case, we're forgetting some information. And this is where the um, common student mistake is, is we forget some of these things. Um, and in essence, each of these coin flips are independent of one another. They don't rely on one another. And when we're looking at the sets, in essence, they're, re they're representing three different ways of doing things. They represent doing like, a, for example, the set heads, heads, tails represents getting heads, heads, tails, heads, tails, heads, and tails, heads, heads. So inside of each of these sets is secretly three different um, elements. Um, it's actually the, it is representing the union of our three lists. Uh, and I think I have this written down actually. Ah, no, why did you go? There we go. Uh, it's going to be the union of our three lists from the previous example. Um, and so we need to think about all of these things. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that students make the first time around uh, for probability is they, they're not always thinking, they, they think very fast, right? Because we're used to, um, being forced to like exams and all that, we're forced to thinking fast. Um, and when we think fast, we make mistakes. Um, one of the big things I push in my classes is don't go fast, um, especially with homeworks or quizzes or whatever, go slow, take the time and make sure you understand what you're doing. Uh, in this case, if you went fast, you would have gotten one fourth uh, instead of three eighths and you would have gotten it wrong. So these are things you have to think about um, when we're uh, doing probability. Um, obviously in exams, you have no choice but to think fast. Um, so just double check your work. If you, if, you're, if you have extra time at the end, take that time and double check your work to make sure you did it right. Um, so yeah. So next video, we'll talk about counting um, and I guess I'll see you then. Sorry for this one being extra long.